hello there. Welcome to the uh, very first episode of uh, my vlog about drones and aerial cinematography. Uh, this is my very first episode, and it is going to be about my van. Why? Because it's uh, icy outside. It's really nasty, so uh, I've got the day off. I've got tomorrow off too because of the weather, and uh, hopefully I'll be back out flying on Friday. But I figured I'd take this moment to show you the inside of the drone mobile and what all I have on me uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. What I use, how I use it, and uh, stuff like that. So let's go take a look at the inside of the van. All right, so now we are looking at the inside of the drone mobile through the back doors. And uh, one thing I do have right here is a laminated checklist that just Velcros to the back door. I'm not going to zoom in on that and show you everything I've got, but uh, basically I just set that up before a shoot. I mark down what I need for the shoot, and then I also mark it down when it goes in the van. And then after the shoot, I Again, when I load the van, I mark it off again. That way I know if I forgot anything. And uh, it's gonna be a little dark in here because I didn't set up a whole lot of lights. But now we're going to move over to the other side. And I have a pocket right here with uh, authorizations, shot lists, call sheets, insurance paperwork, basically anything I need. And you'll see um, right here I've got uh, some Texas Motor Speedway uh, passes that I just put on there for decoration uh, to kind of spruce the place up a little bit, you know, got to look nice. And the most important thing right here is the drink holder. I like to call that the Sunkist holder. And on that, I've got my main lanyard right here that uh, is nasty and smells, but I hang that right there. I don't keep that in any drone cases just in case I don't bring that particular drone to the shoot. Um, I've always got my lanyard there. And as you can see, I've got a folding table right here, and I've got a magnetic flashlight right here that comes in super duper handy. And then I've got some lanyards over here, and then you can see I've got a hard hat, I've got some uh, glasses and some uh, earplugs, and I'm on loud construction sites. And then I've got two parking cones right here. I set those up around my takeoff area, that way nobody parks on my landing pad or anything like that. And the most important thing, the fire extinguisher right there. Always got to have the fire extinguisher just in case, uh, you know, something catches fire. Dealing with a lot of batteries and uh, chargers, generators, and stuff like that. Definitely want to have the fire extinguisher with you. Now we're going to move over to this other side. I'm not going to take this out, but I've got a TV monitor mounted right here. You can see that. It's covered with a moving blanket. So that way the client can watch that while I shoot so they're not looking over my shoulder or if they want they can set up the old classic NES back there. There's my landing pad. It is just a 2x2 two two piece of plywood and I've got some hockey sticks for a frame. Alright now we're looking in the back door on the passenger side and you can see I've got a whole bunch of goodies here. Um, right here in the top of the shelf I've got uh, some EarTech headsets I actually have one headset in there, that's my backup. My main ear techs are in a Pelican case. And then we uh, come down here to the gaff tape. I've got a bunch of gaff tape here. Green is my favorite color, you can tell. I've got some thick, I've got some thin. Uh, those have all sorts of different uses. Then I've got a chair right there, a uh, director's chair that folds up. Below that I've got my Easy Up tent and next to that I've got some snow fence and some T-posts that I can set up if I need to kind of make my own little area where spectators or people can't uh, get into and bug me for safety reasons. And right here you can see I've got a milk crate that's la labeled power. It's got all my extension cords in it and it's also got a couple of uh, battery chargers for the P4 Pros. I always have that on me at all times. And uh, that is the back passenger side. Now we're going to open up the passenger door here and you'll see this little orange bag. It's got my LED lights that I can stick on the outside of my van. They're uh, flashers 
orange in case I'm on a construction site or driving on a airport runway, which will be happening next week. And here you see my Black & Decker power station. That powers my TV monitor and my Nintendo. I do not use it to charge batteries because uh, it will die in about five minutes. So I have other sources for charging batteries. Here's the back driver's side door and you can see my shelves right here. I've got two folding chairs, director's chairs with my logo embroidered. And then I've got my easy up tent in the bottom. And then this is my uh, high vis vest right here, the one I wear. Because on the back, you can see right here, it says uh, do not disturb remote pilot. And believe it or not, that works and I love it. So now up here on the top shelf, I have a Benro tripod with the Copilot DJI remote mount on top. That works out great at construction sites when I'm mapping. And then right here, I've got a little 7-inch free world monitor handheld that uh, has an HDMI hookup. So this is what my clients can hold and they can uh, watch my shots instead of looking over my shoulder. It's really convenient, really easy, and it's really nice not having them breathing on the back of my neck. Okay, so this is the drone cart that I didn't have here earlier, but this is the rock and roller R12. Are you going to the mall later? R12 cart. Uh, this thing is a lifesaver. I've also got the additional shelf right here that goes on top and you can see I've got some little wood pieces screwed on. Those uh, line up with the legs on my Inspire 2 so when I'm setting up props and camera it won't slide off and hit the ground. So that cart is probably one of the best investments I've ever made. So definitely get you one of those. It's on Amazon. All right, so thanks for watching the first episode of the Aerial Cinematography Drone Vlog. I will be doing this every other week. I was gonna do it every week, but that's just, that's way too much. I don't have time for that. So I'm gonna do it every other week, and I'll just combine like what's been going on for two weeks. That was it, thanks for tuning in. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. Any questions or whatever, comment.